Hi everyone, today I'll be filming the most anticipated video of all time, um, the how to play Avalon. So uh, for for this, to film this video right, I had to borrow this Avalon set from my friend because uh, I had a set but I don't know where it went to. So so uh, I'll be explaining first using this set uh, on how to play the standard Avalon. Then I'll be explaining on how to play with the poker cards. Then I'll also be explaining how to play the advanced Avalon, which is new characters and everything. So this is not the normal how to play Avalon video. Okay. So uh, just now I borrowed, I borrowed this set from a friend who bought this set at $70. Very nicely lent me the new set. I had to open everything just now. Okay, so I don't even read this instruction thing. So how to play Avalon, right, it's um, you're divided into two teams, uh, the good and the evil. So it depends on like how many players are playing the game. If there are five players, it will be 3-2. If there are six players, it will be 4-2. Then if there are seven players, it will be 4-3. Then if it's um, eight players, it will be 5-3. And then 9 players, it will be 6-3. And then 10 players, it will be 6-4. So all this is actually in the instruction sheet. Like. This one you can easily refer online also. So what I mean by like 6-3, whatever, whatever. So the first number means the number of good people. And the second number means the number of evil people. So for the illustration, of, uh, for the purposes of this video, right, I'll be doing... I think the idea will be 8 players. Like. I usually play with 8 players or 9 players. So the idea will be 8 players, so I'll be only illustrating how to play with uh, 8 players. Okay, hmm. so I haven't touched the real Avalon set for a long time, so pardon me if I make some mistakes. Okay, so this is how the cards look like. These are all the character cards. Okay, uh, so at the start, you will be assigned a character. So I just randomly take some characters. Like. So usually, right, when they, people play... They will play with uh, Merlin. Merlin is uh, with Merlin. So Merlin is a guy, right? He knows all the bad guys. So yeah, he knows all the bad guys in general, uh, In general, okay. So this is his role, uh, But at the end of the game, uh, he can be shot. So he cannot go around telling people it's Merlin. Or vice versa, you can just go around telling people you're Merlin, and people might not believe you, uh. So it's a gamble you're willing to take. Up to you this is uh, your own strategy okay so merlin will be included then we will include percival percival yeah percival okay so percival will be included to help protect the merlin this is his role and he's um in the normal game he's not assassinate uh assassinable but in our game is he's really assassinable so also try not to say you're percival like if you say you're percival then it's obvious someone else is Merlin, right? Or they may choose not to do whatever. Okay, so next is Percival. So Percival, right? Uh, during the game, right? He will see uh Mer Okay, never mind. The narration of the game uh will be at the end uh, later. So this is his role uh, to help protect Merlin. Okay, so six, six. Oh, sorry, no five three, right? Five three. Then the rest will be us be like normal, normal loyal servants of Arthur. They don't have a specific role. I just take any, only left this 5 lah, so I just take any 3, doesn't matter, okay. Uh, okay, so, why do they have, oh. okay, so they have a lot of bad people cards also, so in 5-3, right, 5-3 usually the, the good guy is weak, so we will have, uh, not sure whether the real game have strong or weak Auburn. I think though they don't have, they only have the weak Auburn version. Okay, so um, basically, so we will use Auburn. Auburn is a spy, right? That he doesn't know his other spy teammates. So usually spy teammates will know each other one. So for this Auburn guy, he doesn't know his other spy teammates. So because 5-3, right, we want to include this weak guy, weak Auburn, okay? And then we include the Morgana. So Morgana, her role, right, is like during the gameplay is to raise her
her hand together with Merlin. Then um, Percival, we have to find out who is the Merlin, who is the Morgana. La. So like between them two, he knows for sure one is the Merlin, one is the Morgana. So one is bad and one is good. So never... In- okay, so I'm including some strategy here. La, but as a common sense, you should never include both into one mission. But if there's no choice, then you have to let it go. La. Okay, so Morgana goes next. Um, then we put in the Mordred. Okay. Mordred is a spy that is hidden to Merlin. Um, so when during the narration, right, all the spies are raised here except for the Mordred. Yeah, so this guy is very powerful. He's hidden from Merlin. But obviously the Merlin knows there's a hidden spy. La. He knows the total number of spies. Yeah. Okay, now I'll be more about strategy again. Strategy later. So these are the remaining spies. So these are just small spies. La. They don't have any roles. Oh, why am I blurring up? Okay, so my camera malfunctioned just now, so irritating. Oh, okay. So the remaining cards are these, basically normal loyal. Um, I mean not loyal. Minion of moderate. Doesn't matter what's the name lah. So bad guys lah. Bad guys with no rules. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry. You have this uh funny assassin role lah. So basically, this is the guy who is supposed to assassinate the Merlin, but. I think in usual gameplay, if you, the assassin is not a game, right? The moderate is the and the most powerful spy has the power to assassinate the Merlin. Yeah, I think that's how people play. I'm not very sure because I've been playing the advanced level for too long. Okay. So um basically all these right we just put at the side, those that we are not using. Okay. Then the cards that we are using, okay, these few rows. Just now I already explained the rows. Uh we just mix them up. Mix them all up and then you distribute to the players. Okay. So uh for example I get this role. Oh Morgana spy. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, anyway, so I get this role, right? I get this card. Uh just it's random now. You just take a card, okay? Then you put it in front of you. You cannot open and show anyone in the game. That's the rule. Uh, okay. So how the how how to know who is who during the game, right? Uh, it will be there will be a narration round uh, so it can be either someone who is not in the game or someone who is in the game so how the narration goes is it like um, everyone close your eyes spies except the Obron wake up so spies except the Obron right it's moderate and Morgana because Obron also will wake up but it depends on how you want to narrate you can say uh, spies uh, not spies, I can name the actual spy that you want to wake up. You can say Modred and Morgana wake up. Okay, you can say Modred and Morgana wake up. So it's up to you. For me, I, I prefer like all spies except Obron wake up. So these two spies will look at each other and they know each other's role because if, if I'm Morgana, I know for sure the other person is Modred. Okay, yeah, this is a bit of strategy. Like, I mean, not really a bit of strategy, it's like common sense. Okay, mm. okay, so after that, spies all go back to sleep. Okay, so spies go back to sleep already. Then we asked Merlin and Morgana raise your hand. So Merlin and Morgana raise your hand. So Merlin and Morgana raise your hand. And then who wakes up? Percival wakes up. So he see he see these both people raising their hand, right? But he don't know who is who. Right? For example, me and someone else raising hand. He don't know where I'm good or bad. So I raise my hand and I can say I'm good, I'm good. But he don't know where I'm lying. Yeah. So okay. Then Merlin. And, okay. Uh. Possible, close your eyes. Merlin and Morgana, put down your hands. Okay. Now, we do the spice part. Um, Oberon and Morgana, raise your hand. So, Ob- Oberon and Morgana, somebody raise your hand now. And Merlin, wake up. Or you can say, or you can say, all spies except Mordred, raise your hand. Then Merlin, wake up. So, Merlin, see two hands. But obviously, there's another spy out there, la, which is a Mordred. La, but he don't know who is it. Okay. In the whole gameplay, right, Morgana is like very active. Like if someone wake up in the first side, I'm supposed to raise my hand, and so raise my hand again. So Morgana is oh it's actually quite exposed, lah. Yeah. But this is a strategy. Okay, we don't talk about strategy, talk about gameplay only. Okay. So after that, everyone put down your hand and everyone uh everyone put down your hand and everyone close your eyes. Okay, we have a few seconds, then everybody wake up. So now the game can start. So um, 
using the board game, we have the eight player card. So eight player card. Okay, eight player card. Basically, it's not very useful, lah. Okay. So um, the first quest right is supposed. Oh, I'm gonna explain one rule. Lady of the Lake. Let's explain that. Lady of the Lake. Okay, so there's another. Uh, added, added on responsibility to someone in the game uh, is randomly assigned. You can just like, I don't know, Ope, Ope Som or something to assign. Uh. Okay, so this person is the lady of the lake. So lady of the lake, right, what power does he have? It's a, so you, on top, okay, for example, I'm the lady of the lake, right? On top of being Morgana, I'm also the lady of the lake, right? So I will get a special two cards, these two cards. This, this is uh, the bottom card, uh, so this is the back. So nobody knows what's inside mm, yeah like this okay so this uh just they use it to put in front of the lady of the lake uh, okay um so on top of being morgana and the lady of the lake right at the end of mission two right i can cut someone so what i mean by cutting someone right you cut someone is like maybe i cut the uh maybe i cut some guy john he's actually the merlin doesn't matter lah Cut him. Then he has to give me his actual allegiance. What I mean by allegiance? Whether he's a blue guy or a red guy. So I'm a spy. Right? I also know who's the blue or red guy, right? It doesn't matter who I cut. Right? So I just cut. And then he, he will have to give me the blue card. If you give me the red card, right? You know this person is like effed up and cheating, right? Because you're not supposed to cheat in this game. This is not the way to play. Right? So you must, you must actually give the actual allegiance team that you belong to back to the person who cutted you yeah so for example end of round two i cut john like he must he must give me the blue card no way he can give me the red card because his his actual allegiance is blue okay yeah so lady on the lake oh uh, okay fine i assign it to myself first you can do it anyway how you want to sign so uh um let's call the other few people a b c d e la okay uh huh. sorry sorry how about um I'm one la then everyone is two three four five six seven eight la okay we'll go with eight players that's easy to count okay so since I'm the lady of the lake right uh we always play clockwise so the next person will be the first speaker of the mission so what do I mean by first speaker of the mission so just now I show you all this um card right first speaker of the mission so the aim of the game right is supposed to go on missions and then you're supposed to uh succeed or fail depending on what team you are from la. so if i'm the red team i want the mission to fail so how the mission fail right it's like as long as there is one fail right the mission the mission will fail so only for this uh mission four right you need two fails so uh for mission four spies don't need to go la. just put your just don't need to don't need to try to fail la. very unlikely that there are two spies in the mission right? so yeah okay okay so uh we have some of the chips thing so now right for example uh i'm one i told you i'm one right so uh because i'm the lady of the lake right they give me this power so the next person will get to be the first speaker first speaker of the mission so first mission you need to pick three people okay uh so for the i asked two hey pick three people okay see um then he picked three people okay pick three people for example, he picked him, himself, me, and I don't know, like, eight, la, okay, whatever. La. So he picked this tree. So once he picked this tree, right, we're supposed to vote whether we want to go on this mission. No, no, no. Whether we want this tree to go on mission, okay? So whether we want this tree to go on mission, right, for this pack, right, we have these token cards assigned to everyone. So there's a, a proof or reject, then the top is a... So how you play right is um you sort of keep these tokens by your side first lah. Then you own self see you want to approve or reject the mission right. Then one two three like we say okay one two three y'all show your vote. Like for example for me right I I put like that first lah. Then I actually show reject something like that lah. So this is how you prevent anyone from cheating like looking at someone else and determining their vote. Okay. Or you can do it an easier way lah. You just um, one, two, three, then every, up, up is go, down is no go lah. Yeah, this is how I usually play. Because we don't need this, 
cards lah. Technically, it's not very useful. Yeah, so, um, for the rest of the gameplay, we just play up or down lah, okay? So, how you determine whether a mission is, uh, approved or not, right, is, uh, depending on the majority. So, we are playing 8 players, right? The majority will be 5, not 4. So, 5 players need to up the mission before the mission can go, okay? So, if, uh, for example, 4 players, only 4 players up the mission, that means the mission was not approved, okay? So, uh, for example, his mission didn't go through. Two's mission, uh, he he picked like so bad, like nobody cares about his pick, and then everybody down it, like. So if everyone down it, right, it will go to the next person. So two's mission didn't go through. I mean, two's pick didn't go through. Move to the second person. So move to the second person. We move this funny token uh, to the second one. So the second picker is number three, la. Number three guy he picks. Also, nobody approve. Okay, fine. Then we go to the number four person. Number four pick also didn't go through. Okay, then number five pick also didn't go through. Then now we come to the number six person who pick right. So the number six person who pick right, whatever he pick right must go through. If it don't go through right, the good guys right automatically lose the entire game. It's not even need to go mission. Don't even need to go mission anymore. No mission. The whole game is lost. Not. Even that mission is lost only. The whole game is lost. Okay. So this is what we call the hammer. Hammer. So number six is number six person is the hammer. Lah. So for example, he picked uh me and uh, one lah. Okay. Uh, sorry, me, I'm one, right? So me, two, and himself lah. Because that's the logical thing to always pick yourself. Okay, so this one I pick. And then uh we just do a customary vote. Then everyone vote up lah, because they don't want to expose themselves as a spy, right? You expose yourself as a spy you down eh, during mission. I don't know lah, but that's your own gameplay lah. You can down or whatever lah. But for for me, usually hammer is up one lah. Yep, so hammer up. So, okay, now the mission uh, has been approved. So mission has been approved, right? We will give them mission cards. So how the mission cards look like? They look completely like this, okay? Then the other side, there is one success, one fail, okay? So uh, we will give one set of cards, one set of one success and fail to every uh, every of the three players. So yeah, next, then next, okay. So for example, for example, um, two is a spy, and then two is a spy with me la, okay. And then um, uh, who is who is who, who picked it? Oh, six. Six picked it. So, um, for example, that guy is a good guy, lah, okay? So, as a good guy, right, you can only put the success card. You cannot put the fail card. You put the... Okay, that's the rule of the game. I, I think got some newbies always try to fail the mission, even though they're good guys, lah, but that's ridiculous. That's not supposed to be the way of the game, okay? Always put success if you're a good guy. Okay, so that guy put success, okay? He never anyhow play. Then... Who should be failing the mission since me and the guy is spy? We know each other spy because he's moderate la, and Morgana. La. So who should be? Okay, we usually me and my friends we have this ranking la, but it's up to you. So it could be two fails come out up eventually. La. So so uh the ranking part later I'll explain. So okay, never mind. Anyway, this moderate guy he decided to put success and I decided to put fail, okay? So good. All goes well. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so after we go for the mission, right, then they put the card into the center, la. So put into the center, then you supposed to shuffle. So nobody knows, like, who put what, la. Then after that, the shuffler open the cards. Okay. So ta-da, there is, like, one fail. One fail means the mission failed, la. So mission failed, we so update this board. Uh, how to update this board? So mission failed, la. Okay, I don't really use this board. Uh, usually we use cards to show. So this board, mission one failed. Okay, mission one failed. Uh. Then it moves on to the next person because uh number six pick, right? So now it's number seven pick. So basically the rules are the same, like always the fifth person is the hammer. Okay. So for example, uh okay, so mission one failed, right? Then maybe mission two pass and then mission four pass and then Mission 5 also pass. Okay. So, it, the whole mission pass lah. Okay? I mean, uh, the good guys won already. Okay, for now lah, for now. So, 
once the good guys win, right, uh, it's time for the bad guys to discuss and start shooting. So, right, uh, at the end of the game, the good guys should never open their character cards because the bad guys can still continue to shoot. So the good guys never open card. Only all the bad all the bad guys just flip over the card and show each other who is who lah. Oh, sorry, one more rule, right? You know, because the Oberon is hidden from the Merlin, right? So uh sorry, the Oberon is hidden from his spy team. So the Oberon, right, cannot open his cards, even though he's a spy. Is that the rule in the normal at all? I think so leh. Okay, so uh, I read the instructions. It doesn't say whether Obron can open his cards. But usually how me and my friends play right, is uh, Obron can open his card. And only the Morgana and the Modred can open his card. You know, and the Modred don't even need to open his card. So basically the Morgana and Modred just discuss who is the Merlin. So we discuss, discuss, discuss and we eventually decide to shoot uh, number 7. Okay, number 7. Anyhow lah, just shoot. Okay, anyway. And number seven is Merlin. So when we shoot, right, we ask him to open a card. Ah. So you open a card, he's Merlin. Okay, then who wins? The bad guy wins. Okay. So if we sh if the bad guys right shoot the wrong person, then the good guys win. Okay. So how good guys win? They need to win by mission. And they also need to make sure their Merlin is not shot. Okay. Yeah, so this is for the simple Avalon. Basically, I didn't use much of the tools because basically you can play all this without the tools. Okay, now I'll be moving on to the advanced Avalon. So we don't need these tools, so we we'll just put them aside first. Okay, now I'll teach you how to play Avalon using poker cards. Okay, poker cards. So uh, just now I introduced the characters, right? Um, characters. Okay, so um. Merlin, Merlin, we will usually use the K, so you replace Merlin with the K, okay, and then um, Queen, okay, this one is a new character. Later, I'll explain, okay. Um, then Percival, we usually use the Ace, Percival, and okay, this is a new character. I'll explain later. So, okay, so uh, good guys only got this few, and then uh, basically like. All the other loyal servants of Arthur, right? You just use any number cards. It doesn't matter. Okay? Use 10 also can. It doesn't matter. Okay. So this to explain. And then we'll explain the three bad guys. Yeah, we usually use black for good guys and red for bad guys. So we This guy, we usually use as a moderate. The ace. Okay, moderate. Moderate is the one that is hidden for Merlin. Okay? Q we usually use as Morgana because Morgana is a girl. Okay, so we usually use a Q. And then this we usually use as Obron. Okay. So for Obron, right, we've got two variants. One is the weak Obron and one is the strong Obron. So what is the weak Obron? Weak Obron is the standard uh Avalon Obron, like spies don't know him and he don't know other spies. So in the strong Obron variant, right? Strong Obron is what we created. La. Strong Obron can see his spy to me. So during the narration, right, it's like Merlin and Morgana. Oh, sorry, not Merlin and Morgana. I mean Modred and Morgana wake up. Okay? Modred and Morgana go back to sleep. Modred and Morgana raise your hands. Obron wake up. So Obron can see his spy to me. But his spy to me is don't know him, lah, but they know he exists. Yeah, so that's the variant of Obron. So at the start of the game, you determine whether you want to play with strong Obron or weak Obron. So how to incorporate strong or weak is like depending on like the size of the entire um characters and you see like whether it's weak or strong. La. So for example six three obviously like six three is like the bad guys are quite hard to win, right? So maybe we can use the strong or brown. But it's not exactly true that strong or brown is better la, for the bad guys. For me I prefer to always play the weak or brown. Yeah, so it depends lah. Mm. So, uh, other than the usual roles that we can use the poker cards for, we also have newly added roles. So, newly added roles when I play with my friends, right? We add in a guy called uh, Burden. Okay. So, Burden, right? Burden is a good guy. But, 
he will be raising his hands together with spies during the gameplay. So how it will be like, right? It's like um Black Jack. Like like that's one of the seven people are like, but this guy is replacing one of the good guys in the role cards. So we will play like Black Jack, Red Jack, and uh, Red Jack is the Oberon and the uh, Red Queen. Raise your hand. So the same thing like Mordred don't raise his hand. Okay. So Red Queen is the okay, so these three raise their hand la. So J, a uh, black J, Red J, and the uh, Red Queen. Then Merlin wake up. Merlin Black King wake up. So that's what how we usually narrate. Instead of the just now the usual narration that I said la. Yeah, if you remember it. Okay, so uh this guy right. So now the Merlin knows this three raise hand of one of the three is definitely a good guy. It's a good guy just that you don't know which one it is la. so it's like very hard for the okay so it's up for the Merlin to find out so it adds a layer of like um special or uh, not specialty what's it called um, like mystery la. like it's not like the Merlin knows everything then it's like also helps to like camouflage the Merlin because the Merlin really knows everything it's very obvious sometimes uh okay actually it depends but yeah depends on the player itself okay um newly invented role also called the Doom. Doom. Okay, so how you play the Doom, right, is um uh okay, so basically right, uh it's a good guy, but he she she he or she has some special power. So the special power, right? Basically this guy doesn't uh affect the narration because he doesn't have any info. So but during the game, right, when he dooms someone, right, the person have to put the opposite of his character card. Okay, so for example, during the gameplay, right? Uh you how we play this Doom, right? It's like during after mission one. After Yeah, after mission one, he will get to doom someone in mission two. So how you doom someone, right? You can just like uh put cards in like a circle. Then everyone have a black card. So I just explain how, how the doom works first. So if for example I'm I'm the doom, right? Then I want to doom like number seven. So I, I do number 7, right? And he, for example, he's a spy. La. So he has to put the black card when he goes on the mission 2. Yeah, so that's how the Doom works. Oh, and I forgot to mention. So uh, the Doom, right, is always... Because, you know, at the end of mission 2, right, the Lady of the Lake has the power to exercise the power. So, so how the Doom works with the Lady, right, is the Doom is the one Dooming first before you get to cut someone. So, yeah. This is a bit like not good lah, like, because you ha you have to doom the person, then you don't know if person go or not. Then after you use the lady of the lake lah. So yeah. So how to operate doom right? Usually we will arrange like all the black cards in one circle, like for the all the eight people. Then there will be a center card that is red lah. So uh, the cards all will face down. You don't know which one is black, which one is red lah. So we will we will say okay, everyone go to sleep. So now Doom wake up and then decide who you want to Doom. La. So when you Doom someone, you move the center red card to the person's card and then put the black card into the middle. Then the... Now, okay, so Doom finish uh, Dooming your person and then everyone close your eyes and everyone wake up. So wake up, you take a look at the card in front of you. So if you see a black card in front of you, you haven't been Doom. If you see a red card in front of you, you have been doing so you uh, it's up to you to like see whatever expression you want to give to people lah you can say i'm doomed la, or whatever la you can do whatever uh funny thing you want to do but you can never open that doom card okay so what you do after you finish seeing right everyone shuffle all the cards into the middle and then we shuffle 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 then we just open again la. then we can reuse for the next round so uh do since doom is a good guy actual thing right is like you're supposed to help the good guys lah. So you only doom the bad guys. You don't go and doom like any old how lah. Yeah. Oh, um, one more rule that we make also like when you doom someone for one round, like for example, I doom number seven for mission mission two, right? I cannot doom him for mission three or so. Okay? So because it's very unfair, you keep doing the same person, you throw in like, right? You must keep changing lah. So you can also choose not to doom anyone. 
depends. So you don't want to do anyone, you just don't move the color. You just do make up, but you don't wake up. Yeah. Okay, uh, one more rule is uh, the doom, right? When he dooms the Merlin, right? For example, the Merlin to doom. La, the Merlin still continue to put the black card, even though he is... Uh, I mean, black card emission too, even though he's doom. This is the special rule only for the Merlin. So, like... <laughs> Imagine this stupid doom go and doom the Merlin, right? Then he don't know the Merlin is actually bad guy or Merlin, right? Like, but this guy, like, if he wants to go rogue, right, and just anyhow doom anyone, right? It's very obvious who he is, right? Okay, so our version, right, you can shoot anyone you want. So as a bad guy, right, and I'm game, right? Nobody open his uh, their card. Okay, okay, la, fine, lah. You can ask the Morgana and the Mordred to open their card, lah. Okay, so who will shoot, right? The mo the moderate will shoot. Now, as in the moderate is the one that has the power to shoot. Okay, so for example, Mo moderate and Morgana they both arguing about who to shoot, but it doesn't matter because the moderate has the power to shoot. Okay. Okay, so I was saying right, uh, you can get the bad guys can shoot anyone. What I mean by shoot anyone, right? It's like because the the good guys right have four power rules. For example, we playing all these four power rules. Okay, they can choose to shoot. Any of these four power rules. So for example, I want to shoot number uh for example um seven I I don't say seven is pirate. Right? Yeah, okay, so seven is pirate. Right? Seven decides to shoot uh me. For example, my, my role is actually maybe I'm I'm just a small black lah. Okay, so he decides to shoot me as oh no no, no we don't just call myself small black. I call myself maybe uh Okay, possible. But he tries to shoot me as uh burden. So he tries to shoot me as burden. I open my card and see. Tada! It's not burden. I'm Percival. So, good guys still win. So, what I mean by shoot anyone, you must shoot the person and name the role. But, one rule is that you cannot shoot the small black. So, small black is those number cards like I said before. So, it's not shoot everyone you want. So, but it gives a bit of advantage to the bad guys because you don't only have to shoot or don't only need to shoot Marlena. Yeah, but actually when you play our Baron, right, or uh, it's like actually quite hard to tell all the rules on that. It actually depends on the game also. So all these invented rules, right, is uh, invented by my friend Perway. Okay, it's credits to him. It's not, it's not invented by me. But it really makes the game, game much more interesting. Yeah. So how you proceed with the game, right, you just uh give these character cards. Lah. So just now I already said 6, no, 5, 3, right? So for example, we're playing this all these three, I mean all these four play games, and then uh we just add a random number card. Okay, so these are good guys. Okay, and bad guys, this three. Okay, then we just mix them together and assign rules lah. So basically, you play like the same lah. But basically, when you uh memorize like uh what's what uh the number of people supposed to go on mission lah. Okay, so for example, I get this rule lah and the burden lah. Okay. Uh, then, oh yeah, we need to assign the Lady of the Lake also. So, Lady of the Lake, we just usually take just any two cards, la, then we just um place in front of the person to show that he's the Lady of the Lake. So, for example, I'm the Lady of the Lake also, la, because there's no other people here, so I'm the Lady of the Lake. Okay, I put these two cards in front of myself, and then we start the game. So, we start narrating, and then we start going on mission. So, um for example, I'm the Lady of the Lake, okay, so obviously two will we'll get to pick first lah, so pick first, continue up, using up and down, okay. So, um, hammer, you also remember lah, who's the first picker, okay. Then, uh, for example, we go on mission, right, like for example, we are going on mission one. Then we will just take any two cards from the pile, like, I have two different piles, one is a red, sorry, one is a red pile and one is a black pile lah, so you just randomly take the two cards from a pile, then you just pass to the person to go for the mission. So, when you pass the person to go for mission, you're not supposed to let the person see, like, which two cards that the person get. Because it's always very obvious when you shuffle who is the one who, who failed the mission, right? Okay? So, um, just pass secretly to the person. I mean, not secretly, la, like, face down. La. Then the person also see. Then try to shuffle, la, like, don't let people see, okay? Then, for example, I put this card. See, you don't know whether I put fail or not, right? Okay. So, yeah, that's how you go on mission, lor. Basically, the gameplay is exactly the same. Just that you use poker cards. Save money, you don't even buy the ever on set, and then you can play with the new and improved characters that we invented. Oh, sorry, not we invented, my friend invented. Okay, 
Okay, so just now I promised to share more on the uh, failing priority, right? So for example, like many spies go on mission, like who should fail? So me and my friends, we have curated a uh, failing priority. La. So it depends on how powerful the the spy is. But it's up to you to determine also, la, you and your friends or whatever. You all can don't determine and then maybe have two fails la, up to you all. Okay, so to make it more interesting, we don't want to have two fails in the mission. La. So, so okay, as you all know, right, this is the... This is our brawn, okay, this is a normal small spy, and this is the moderate, and this is Morgana. So, it's like, for example, this four spies, four spies can only exist in the 10 player game. So, for example, this four spies actually got chosen to go on mission. So, who should fail? So, in the weak or brawn variant, obviously, the weakest person is the Obron. Obron is the weakest person. So, Obron is the weakest person. He, whatever mission you go, right, he should always fail on. Yeah, so... Obron fail first. So, okay, if this... Yeah, but since the Obron is weak, right, nobody knows that he exists, ma. So, I think, like, maybe the second smallest should fail. Or second smallest is the small spy, according to our rankings, like Because he's not as powerful, he's not hidden from Merlin, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, uh... So, if, like, for example, these four go on mission, right, it's likely that there will be two fail, like, Because this guy will try to fail, ma. Like, very ways to, like, give out a mission and don't fail it. Okay? Okay, what happens if these two go on mission? So Morgana should uh, sorry, Morgana should fail la. Yeah, because Morgana is weaker than Modra. Modra is hidden from Merlin. So that was for the weak Obron version. So what happens if it's the strong Obron version? So strong Obron version, right? This uh no the Obron can see his other spy teammates, but other spy teammates don't hear him. Right? So in that sense, right, he becomes the strongest spy in our rankings la. So if this four go on mission, who should fail? Okay, it should be um this guy like the small spy. Okay. Then followed by small spy followed by the Morgana. Then Morgana moderate. Then Jay la. Because he's the strongest spy, la, so he's the last to fail. So this is the ranking la. Uh mm, what else? Did I miss out anything? No, I don't think I missed out anything. So, uh, okay, for example, uh, you got a mission, la, then the the results is like this. So, there's one fail, la, so you usually put like out what's the result. So, you don't need to memorize what's the result, la, so you just put it down on the floor for everyone to see what is the results. And then we use a new power of cards. Yeah. So basically, this is how you play the Advanced Avalon. It's, it's the most exciting game I've ever played. La. I mean, I if I could have a dream job, right, I want to play Avalon all day. But actually, I always play Avalon until I got a headache. Because <laughs> it's like, really need to think very hard what, what's going on. Especially when you're a spy, right, you need to like think, oh, what's supposed to be when I'm a good guy, you know? Even though you failed a mission, la, something like that. Okay. Yeah, this is the end of how to play Avalon video. Hope you all enjoy it. If you all liked it, uh, please like like the video and subscribe. So this is the long version. I will be creating a shorter version for those people who um can't watch such a long video la, to to learn how to play Avalon. But this is like really just advanced Avalon. La. Don't need to play with the the this thingy because like really no point la. Yeah. And plus, you cannot play the new and improved characters that me and my friend created. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of how to play Avalon video. Hope y'all will all play Avalon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.